This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Blip2, an AI image to text generation model from Salesforce Research. So this paper came out on January 30th, 2023. So let's, they also have a demo, uh, Hugging Face Space. So first let's try out the demo and then let's go to understanding the model. Okay. So for this first we need to upload an image. So what I will do is that I will select a particular image over here of the Mysore Palace. Okay. And then I will say generate a caption basically. Right. Caption it. Let's see. It says the Palace of Mysore in India. Okay. This is quite accurate. Very accurate in fact. So now um, it has generated the caption for this particular image, right? Now you can also prompt it to kind of, you know, uh, answer question answer basically, or say chat basically, right? So let me put a question. Where is this palace located? Okay. And probably an answer. This is the prompt, right? So let's try. It says Hyderabad, India. That is wrong actually. But I like that the caption was very nice over here. Right. Now maybe let's try another image. Okay. Oh, let's, let's try another image. Let's clear this as well. So let's try another image. Let's see what image is there. Okay. Maybe let's try this. Okay. Let's caption it. It says the new Audi SUV is shown in this image, which is again quite accurate. Okay. So maybe here I can ask, I don't know, maybe it's too much to ask, but let's see. Which model of Audi is this SUV? Let's try what happens. Audi Q8. I'm not sure if this is Audi Q8. Maybe we can quickly. I had actually pulled a Audi e-tron or something like that. Yeah, quite close actually. This looks like Audi Q8. I'm not sure, but okay. But the caption is quite nice. It is doing quite accurate captions as well. Maybe let's try again with another image. So this time, let me try something with. Hmm. Say Taj Mahal. Let's see what happens over here. Okay. Let me try captioning it. An image of Taj Mahal in India. Nice. So maybe I'll ask a question on when was Taj Mahal? Constructed. See, see, it gives between sixteen thirty two to sixteen forty eight. Let's see, Ach Mahal, India. And let's go to, yeah, it was commissioned in sixteen thirty one, as per Wikipedia. Mm, 1628 to 1658 uh, commissioned in 1631 what was the answer over here it gave something like 1632 to 1648 quite accurate quite close to the original answer okay so this model is quite interesting it generates captions for your input images after the cap once the caption is generated you can also do some kind of uh, you know visual question answering on this particular uh, image Okay, now let's try one more image. I want to try something. Let's see. I want to try some other domain as such. Maybe I load the CT scan image. Let's see what it says. Probably I'm not sure what it is going to give. Collage of MRI images showing different parts of the brain. This is actually a CT image. Still, it's good. It's quite good actually. Even though it is not captured the modality properly over here, it's nice. Okay. 
so now let's go to the paper and then let's see um, you know what is the idea what is the technology behind this blip 2 okay so so the idea behind blip 2's framework is that they train something called as a lightweight querying transformer okay and there are two stages in this model in the first stage they pre-train a lightweight querying transformer okay it uh, the kind of boot bootstrap vision language representation learning from a frozen image encoder okay so the second stage is it bootstraps vision to language generative learning again from a frozen language large language model in this way they are able to create zero shot instructed image to text generation okay so let's look into what is this first stage and second stage what we understand over here is they have something called as a querying transformer in the first stage which takes an input from an image encoder which is frozen right and your text and it tries to get some uh, vision language representations okay which are then fed to a large language model based on which you can generate your text captions now let's go to the q former uh, the first stage okay so there is this diagram of the first stage over here okay so the architecture of q former is shown over here right so the input image is given as an in, uh, in the input image is given to an image encoder which is frozen and from that you get some uh, you know features right these features are then fed into two uh, what do you call transformers over in, in two transformers over here one is for the image and one is for the text okay within this q former okay then uh, so the image in transformer interacts with the frozen image encoder for visual feature extraction a textual transformer that can function both as a text encoder and text decoder okay then they create something called as learnable query embeddings as input to the image transformer okay and the image transformer and the uh, what do you call text transformer share the same self attention layers okay the queries interact with each other through self attention layers and interact with the frozen image features through cross attention layers inserted every other transformer block that is what is shown over here okay the queries also can additionally interact with text to the same self attention layers which is shared across these two um, transformers so this q former is initialized with pre trained weights, weights of bert base whereas cross attention layers are randomly initialized okay so then what happens over here right what happens in each of these three transformers over here okay so the first one is image text matching okay the image text matching it makes use of bidirectional self attention mask in the attention layers okay so between the query and the you know, text positions basically it makes use of uh, between the query and the text uh, to, uh, this thing uh, along with the image features it makes use of bi-direction self-attention mask so what happens in image text matching first so in the image text matching first what happens is that it aims to learn fine-grained alignment between image and text representation it's a bi binary classification task where the model is asked to predict whether an image text pair is positive or negative they use self uh, bidirectional self attention mask where all queries and text can attend to each other the output query embedding z thus capture multimodal information we feed each output query embedding into a two uh, a two class linear classifier to obtain a logit and average the logit across all queries as the output matching score so this is the first one image text matching so it used to uh, uh, get some kind of representations uh, between the image and text over here okay and it makes use of this bi-directional self-attention mask between the queries and text the first this thing okay then you have 
uh, image text matching is this particular thing image text contrastive learning okay that is another uh, loss between, uh, which is done so the image text contrastive learning learns to align image representation and text representation such that that mutual information is maximized it achieves so by contrasting image text similarity of a positive pair against those of negative pairs so that is the contrastive learning between image and text okay then you have image grounded text generation this part okay so image ground uh, text generation uh, trains the queue former to generate text given input images as the condition since the architecture of queue former does not allow direct interactions between frozen image encoder and text tokens the information required for generating text must be extracted by the queries and then passed to the text tokens via self attention layer therefore queries are forced to extract visual features that capture all information about the text okay so this image text grounded text generation is is trained actually basically it trains the queue former to generate text given input images as the condition okay that is this particular part okay so so what they are saying is that uh we jointly op optimize three objectives which is image text matching contrast text uh, uh, co image text contrastive learning and image grounded text generation to extract visual representation most relevant to the text okay and uh, this is the self attention masking strategy for each objective to control query text interaction okay and these queries are learned over here right so that is the first stage of the queue former basically uh, of the blip2 okay now what is the next stage right so once you have uh, basically this part done right uh, your uh, queue former has been uh, trained and you have the image encoder now you pass an image input okay you also have the learned queries as input to the queue former the queue former output is taken okay and then it is given to a large language model decoder okay which produces your output text or caption text that is the idea over here now you can have two kinds of decoders over you can have a decoder based large language model or you can have a encoder decoder based large language model okay to which you can give the output of the queue former okay so that is what they say over here mm retraining modeling uh, so uh, in the generative uh, somewhere over here i had seen that okay where is it mm. yeah so in the generative pretraining stage we connect queue former with the frozen image encoder attached to a frozen llm to harvest the llm's generative language capability okay in this way they can actually uh, basically the output of the fully connected layer as we use fully connected to linearly project the output query embedding z from the queue former into the same dimension as the text embedding of large language model the projected query embeddings are then prepended to the input text embeddings they function as soft visual prompts that condition the large language model on visual representation extracted by the queue former okay so in this way they are able to actually predict the captions over here so they take the output of the queue former and then there is a fully connected projection layer to which it is presented and then it is appended with the text uh, basically uh, text embeddings as well of the um, large language model effectively basically yeah soft prompts for the visual okay uh, where is it it has uh, information bottleneck yeah the projected query embeddings are then prepended to the input text embeddings that is the idea over here in this second case okay but this is the architecture of q former or basically of blip2 it has two stages so in your uh, first stage basically what they do is they pre train a light querying transformer uh, which uh, follows a two stage strategy the first stage bootstraps vision language representation learning from a frozen image encoder the second stage is uh basically vision to language generative learning using a frozen large language model okay this is the idea behind blip 2 okay 
so what else uh, can we do with this right so what they say over here is that one is caption generation and here are some examples so this particular uh, image is given as an input and you say explain the advantages of this product then it says the Audi e-tron Quattro concept is a plug-in hybrid electric sports car it gives some uh, you know information on this particular car okay this is tell me something about the history of this place okay so here you have great wall of china so it gives information on that right so this is probably using the second uh, this architecture where you also have a prefix text attached to the representation of the image okay so you give both the image and this text as input to the model okay so here is this what what is shown what are shown in the photo a man and a chicken okay follow up what does the man feel and why so it is able to actually generate his cat of the chicken because it is flying at him so these answers are quite good over here what happened at the end of this movie the titanic sank did this character survive no he drowned so it is quite good in these kind of tasks so this is uh, examples of instructed zero shot image to text generation using blip2 model with VITG and FLAN T5 XSL. So VITG is the frozen image encoder and FLAN T5 XSL is your frozen language, large language model. Okay, over here. So it shows wide range of capabilities including visual conversation, visual knowledge reasoning, visual common sense reasoning, storytelling, personalized image to text generation. Interesting. So here are some uh, performance metrics. I will not go into the details of this. I will put the link of this paper in the description of the video. You can check it out to get a better understanding of this uh, paper as well as this particular model. Okay. So I hope this short video on Blip2 is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I will be putting the link of this Hugging Face space as well as in the description of the video. See you in another video.